and welcome to How to Cook Great Food. With thousands of recipes and millions of views, why not subscribe to our channel and join the family? Welcome back once again to How to Cook Great Food.com. If you haven't already, please click that button and subscribe to our channel. On the menu today, and as you can see right here, we're making a nice shrimp or prawn curry. We've got some tomatoes in there with a base of coconut, some absolutely wonderful spices. I'm using this type of sized shrimp or prawn today. You could use much smaller or much larger if you wanted. It's quite easy to make. Tastes delicious. Let's go and do it. Okay, let's get started on this. I've got some oil in there that I'm heating up. I'm using a sunflower oil today. You could use a different oil if you wanted. Let's get in some whole gara masala, cinnamon, star anise, just a little bit of cardamom, and then cumin seeds. So just in that oil, just for a few seconds, we're going to let them do their thing. They will pop, splatter, and crackle. That's looking pretty good. Now we're going to go in with some onion. And as you can see, I've got this onion cut really small. To that, I'm going to add some garlic ginger paste. Nice healthy amount. I'm just going to cook this for about two to three minutes, stirring all the time. Then we'll be ready for the next stage. There we go, this is coming together beautifully. I'm now going to add some chopped tomatoes. Cut them nice and small. Here I've got some fresh chilli, using red today, but you could use green. I'm going to add a little splash of water to that. And increase the heat now. I'm going to get that up to above a medium. And we're going to cook this again for about another three to four minutes. And as you can see, we've got a nice amount of liquid from our tomatoes as they break down. If you haven't, just a little splash of water, just a tiny amount. Okay, we're now going to go in with a little bit of cumin powder. Some chilli powder, I'm using the Kashmiri chilli powder. We're going to get a bit of salt in there. And a little touch of haldi or turmeric. Now we're just going to bring this together. I'm just going to cook this just for about a minute. Stirring all the time. As you can see, we're getting quite dry now, so keep stirring all the time. It's smelling absolutely amazing. A beautiful little masala happening here. I'm now going to add some coconut milk. This is, of course, going to really thin out our masala. Give that a nice mix. We've got some lovely, lovely flavours there. That coconut's going to really sort of cool down all those spices as well. Okay, keep stirring now on quite a high heat. Another one to two minutes only. Let's bring this together. Okay, we're now ready for our 
shrimp or prawns so in they go I'm using this kind of these kind of guys today you can use bigger or smaller if you want but looking absolutely wonderful this is so in they go now we're going to reduce the heat right down now depending on what type of shrimp or prawn you've used or in size will depend on how long you're going to cook this for now but these ones here that I've just got this size they're only going to take about three to four minutes give it a stir every now and then okay that's it wonderful they'll be cooked to perfection check that for salt you might want to add a bit more I'll be good I'm going to finish this off with some cilantro or coriander you could if you wanted put a little bit of garam masala powder no need for me we're going to turn off the heat stir that in a little bit we're done don't forget to subscribe to our channel we'll see you soon lots of love with thousands of recipes and millions of views why not subscribe to our channel and join the family